can't remember a thing to save your life, and you're pathologically incapable of saying no, then this video is for you. But also for everyone else who thinks that they've got their stuff together. Welcome back to the Tea on Recruiting, where we share insightful and thought-provoking content that can help you shape your recruiting career. Here's today's first piece of content. Do you know that feeling when you forget to write down a grocery shopping list and you end up in the cereal aisle, staring into the abyss in a zombie-like fashion? What if you didn't take notes during an interview, somebody sued you, and you were just as clueless as the opposition's lawyer asks you questions during a deposition? We read a note about taking notes during an interview, and these are our notes. You should write date, time, and place or app where the interview took place. Write why the answers the candidate gave were good or bad. Write notes that are objective and detailed. Write while focusing on facts indicating whether the candidate can or cannot do the job. Note something benign or memorable about the candidate, like what they were wearing, but you don't need to take note of anything related to religious or ethnicity, because you just don't need that. Take time to complete your notes. So you can probably just explain to your candidate that you need to write things down so that you can remember them better later, or you can wait until the very end of the interview before you jot down something. But we advise against that, as you might forget things in the process. Make the notes easily retrievable. For instance, you can put them in your ATS. And now, are you ready for our second piece of content? Hey, Elena, can you take care of an extra task for me? I like to leave the office earlier for a dinner date with my boyfriend. I need it done ASAP. Meanwhile, Elena's mind. My name is no, my sign is no, my number is no. You gotta let it go, you gotta let it go. Meanwhile, Elena's face. Sure, I'd love to. And the Academy Award for least convincing line to a colleague goes to... Elena! Historical. Unbelievable. Amazing. If you say yes to your co-workers' requests, even when you would rather eat a handful of gravel, you work in the evenings and on the weekends and you respond immediately to emails, then you might benefit from working on your boundaries. Healthy boundaries can help you maintain your balance and self-respect. We read how to become a boundary boss according to a celebrity psychotherapist, and this is what we learned. I'm not going to focus on what other people want and I'm going to do what I want and then you guys can deal with what I do. To identify what your boundaries are, you need to know what your limits, desires, preferences and deal breakers are. And then you need to concisely and clearly communicate them. I love it. <laughs> What often happens is that people develop some sort of high-functioning codependency. But before you yell, But I'm not codependent! If someone else's disaster feels like your own and you sense an urgency as if it was your life, you're codependent. What boundary bosses do is they create a bill of rights. So that's something that's going to help them remember what they will or won't stand for so that they can more clearly communicate it. You'll see just how much you're going to benefit from this. Now, are you ready for the candy crash? Candy crash! The more demonic your job postings, the more barbaric our reviews about you. Shout out to a company we won't name. So let's read this job posting for neurosurgeon MD slash neurobiologist PhD researcher dot partner. Sounds like a position just anyone could fill in. The salary is ranging from 60 to 120k and the equity is 0.01% to 0.08%. Let's read. Seeking partner slash co-founder to sail this journey. This is a headset startup. 
we currently possess no funding at all. Willing to offer equity, and of course everyone gets paid, once we get seed funding, etc. So basically you're asking a highly specialized professional in the medical field who might have a PhD if they would like to apply for your tiny startup job where they might or might not get paid depending on the way the wind blows, like the luck you're going to have. And you offer them so much equity that seriously you might just hand out handwritten bonuses for hugs got something to say about this drop a comment in the section below we love to pick your brains help us get better at helping you get better with your help about that if there is any theme on your mind that you think we should touch upon or dive deeper into why don't you reach out to me and let us know you can send me a dm on linkedin under the name elena galli or send me an email at elena at star.com as you know, you can access these episodes 48 hours before anyone else and more amazing, incredible content by subscribing to our newsletter. You're going to find it linked below or at star.com newsletter. Thank you for watching the team recruiting. Take care and see you soon.